When I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted. Oh God, another fucking wow. I too uh, didn't grow up with my real dad. Maybe some of you guys did earlier. And freaking so I go, I meet my freaking adopted. Uh, I meet my freaking adopted uh, folks. <laughs> This guy. Oh my god. I used to live in South Florida. This is my this is an aside. But uh Haitian women know how to deliver babies. White women lay on the ground like they haven't discovered gravity. A Haitian woman will jump on the freaking bed, squat down, and the baby will fall right out. It's fucking kick ass. I don't know. But that's besides the point. I mean, it, you know, I don't know why women don't it's for the doctor. You, the women lay down like that for the doctor. Because it's easy for the doctor to freaking do it. Like, that's not how we shit. We don't lie down. We stand and squat because we want gravity to freaking pull it down. Uh, you do the same thing with the babies, ladies. Uh, shit, I read. Huh? No, it, the baby was fine. Yeah, yeah. My wife uh, delivers babies, so that's the only reason I know. The other thing that was so cool about South Florida being, uh, is the Haitians came up from, uh, from Haiti. <laughs> and then the, all the French Canadians come down from France, and so at the flea market you got the French Canadians speaking French, and you got the Haitians speaking French, and they're all talking to each other, buying and selling stuff from each other. It's the coolest freaking thing. I used to buy some of these auctions. Oh my god! I befriended this Haitian lady who sold toys and stuff. It was so freaking cool. And um, it was like the Goodwill. The Goodwill would have these freaking auctions, and you could go and you'd buy. They'd take a pallet and they would wrap it with a thing, and you buy a pallet of electronics, a pallet of books, all this other shit. The different people, different like chicks, different Haitian women, because it's like a female dominated, like I think, you know. Different women would be like in charge of the like the electronics. And like this dude, this little squanny little Haitian dude is like bidding, and then fucking she just comes up and goes, BAM! He just freaking decks the dude right down. He never been on that shit again. It was awesome. But that's an aside. Uh <laughs> I don't know how February got picked to be the black month. <laughs> nor how June became the gay month. But I do understand why next month is Provamas. Can't you hear the chants? July, July, July. <laughs> when I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted. Oh god, another fucking wow. I too uh, didn't grow up with my real dad. Maybe some of you guys did earlier. Uh, uh, and freaking, so I go, I meet my freaking adopted, uh, I meet my freaking adopted uh, folks. And like, I didn't know the family. And my, my, my aunt married them. She like freaking was like a real, whatever religious, she married like a Muslim dude. So I had black, I have black fucking cousins. So, but I have white fucking cousins. So I'm meeting them all for the first time. White cousins, black cousins. I was so racist towards the white cousins. Because I'm like, what are you going to teach me? Nothing. I know what it's like to be white. Fucking black cousins. Oh my God, talk to me. So that's when I was racist against the whites. So when I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted. But now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you did time in prison. Big deal. Not only was I institutionalized at birth, but I too was innocent. And yet, I did five months solitaire, behind the bars, just hanging in the crib, hitting the bottle multiple times a day. Plus, later, 
I can have relations with my new mom. Thanks, Oedipus. <laughs> they say the band playing music while the Titanic was sinking were heroic. I don't feel the same way about Taylor Swift. <laughs> Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me, thanks for asking, ladies, gentlemen, Three's Company. My five minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean, meta useful. I want to address the obvious elephant in the room, all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens, but they are fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. And then, once the most pleasurable part on the male is removed, they seem surprised some dudes move on to number two. I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. If you're into tennis, I'm not into you romantically. Why wouldn't you just value love? Is it tennis zero is love. <laughs> this, ne this next joke seems to resonate more with a younger crowd and it's not about sounding. People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. And then I remind them, you eat ass. <laughs> I don't know, is my time up? Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I'll stop with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, y'all make some noise for David Bacon. David, you look great to dance like it. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, you're fine, you're fine. Y'all love uh, David's jokes, yeah? Y'all like that shit? That shit is mad corny, no, we love it, we love it. No, um, David, you're, you're a star, you're a star in the making, okay? We, lo we love you, we love you. Y'all make another round of applause for David Bacon. Yeah, he made them couple sock touching, and he made this couple start touching, like, <laughs> Them niggas just barely dated for a little bit. Y'all been dating for a while. That shit transferred. He was like, damn, that shit's cringe. It was like, damn, that nigga is cringe. Dang, that's funny. That was good time. Y'all are good. I love that buzzer. I love that buzzer. Shout out to Bob. I mean, Black Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. Much. Everyone, get pumped, get excited, get ready for David Bacon. You don't really have to get that excited. February got picked to be the uh, black month, or how June became the gay month. But I do understand how next month is pro Hamas. Kids, you hear the cheers? July, July, July. Wow, third mic tonight, no laughs there. That's fine. When I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted. Now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you did time in prison? Big deal. Not only was I institutionalized at birth, but I too am innocent. Even more so, yet. I did five months solitaire, behind the bars, just hanging in the crib, hitting the bottle multiple times a day. Plus later, I could have uh, relations with my new mom. Thanks, Oedipus. They say the band playing music on the while the Titanic was sinking were heroic. I don't feel the same way about Taylor Swift. 
Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better for me. Thanks for asking, ladies, gentlemen, Three's Company. My five minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean, Metamucil. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens. But they're fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. And then, what's the most pleasurable part of the mail is removed. They seem surprised that some dudes move on to number two. My daughter. I do improv. I don't do yes and. I do yes and percent. If you're not into tennis, I'm not into you, romantically. Why would you just buy your love? This next joke seems to resonate more with a younger crowd, and it's not about sounding. People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. And then I remind them, you eat ass. Now I'm a hoarder, and I'm not sure if any of you are. Sign for hoarders to come out of the closet. I need the space. And let's see. Okay, we'll do this one. And I'll go on this. I don't know if I've been abandoned by Odysseus or Percy Jackson. I can't seem to escape the Lotus Eaters. You? Thank you very much. Give it up, Bacon. Give it Bacon, everyone. I'll say it, Rob. I think, I think baby foreskins anywhere other than a trash can would be weird. <laughs> Why are you keeping them? Why would you get rid of them? The, it's uh, the most pleasurable part of the body. Why would you get rid of the foreskin? I mean, if they're already taken off, I don't want them in my hey, house. You keep them on the baby. I'm not taking them away. I'm just saying if there's already a sack, I'll 